So let's open this. So what was happened on CL1? So if you was trading overnight, so you were seeing we was coming from BL4 and we have a strong support here also and going directly to BL10. It's crazy. If you was wake up in the morning, uh, 6.30 Eastern time, you came from BL1, go straight to BL10. And where we have the options data, so the options data is here. High volume, zero, uh, high volatility, zero DTE, one day max, core resistance. It's nice to have. But if you add also the blind spot on your charts, you get a much better overview. And champs, tell me, is this crazy or not how this is working? It's really based on on the institutional data, on options data, where we're looking also on, on crude oil for high correlations, looking for overlap pricings, and that's it. And we, we're building based on this to blind spot so that you can have an advantage on this, so that you have this basically on your chart and you get the guidance. It's, it's so crazy. And it needs not so much time. And when we speak about... And, and this is now the crazy one. If you come uh, in the market, we can build our roadmap. How the roadmap is working, it's like um, building here your maps, connect the strong area. So the strong area is BL1 to BL4. And then we have here also a strong area between a high volatility, zero DTE and high volatility and BL9. So what we're basically doing is like connecting this together. And also our next area is here. And our next area is here. And what we can do basically after this, we see directly uh, our areas where we can trade from. So if we break out from here, our next target is this area. If we break out from here, our next target is here. So it's crazy. I don't I don't need any analyzing tools. It's, it needs only, only a few minutes and then I'll be done. If we go now to ES, for example, um, crazy how we came down, by the way. <laughs> so you see the ES, um, Fabio? Yes. All right. So the ES future is really simple and easy to read. And I, I, I show you why. So basically what we have, we have here BL1, BL2, put forward one day minimum. What we're doing? is we connecting this area together and then we have here our our space and in simple words if we below this the short is valid if we above this the long is valid simple and easy my friends but of course we're looking always for correlation looking for example to the rigs or to some other ones never uh, never uh, trade blind and say okay now we go short or now we go long Wait for your second confirmation, what you have, how you define this. And this is some, some really nice roadmap for you, how you can, can do this. And also now you, you know exactly that we have this area here. For me personally, if, if, if we take the down move here, this is no trading area anymore. The BL9, BL7 and BL10. In the middle of this, I will not place any trades. Possible what I can do is I wait that we break break out here to a high volatility level and possible target the PL4, PL8 or put support, or we break break out to the upside and go back to the put support. But this is basically simple on easy stuff and I call this the roadmap. We can do this also with, with, with gold. And if you're looking to gold, oh man, I'm so crazy. It's so crazy, my friends today. It's, it's crazy and it works every day. It's every day the same. Look at this. So we was in the morning. Uh, no, the morning was here, Wednesday, 3.40. Boom, BL8 was holding, was holding. And then boom, we came up. And and if you want now place your roadmap, what you can, can do, you can say, okay, this is my area where I don't like to trade. If you be in this area, this is not my area to trade. Because here we have strong areas. We have the core resistance here. We have the gamma wall here. We have BL2, BL8. And also possible we have the one day max. Maybe we make this a little bit bigger. So what we what we want to see is that we break above the one day max, but the one day max have a bigger, a bigger risk. 
but the best case will that we break down on this range BL8 to BL1 call resistance one day minimum put support. And also what we're doing here, we're connecting this range. So basically this is our trading area. If we come in here and we won't place any trades here, I would say from my perspective, this is not, not a trading area anymore because it's too risky. We can easily uh, shop out on this area. And we see based on the roadmap, we see directly where we, where we can go into the market. We can go again if we break down here to BL10, if we break up here to BL8, and that's it. If you're looking to, to crude oil today, um, we was doing this before. And okay, let's go into to the Russell. Here we go. The Russell is also there. Let's let's check it. Um, so what we can do basically is we connecting uh, the ranges like this. And then here we go. Here you have your ranges where you can go into the market. I would say uh, now we get also the uh, the other level. So then it makes much more sense that we place here some range because we have here one day minimum BL2 put support and that's our ranges, my friends. So we can possible go short below here that we going down here. We can, we can go long here above this and in the middle of this range, I will not going into the market, maybe again here to the down move and that's it. So basically on the roadmap, what I was mapping out for you, it needs only one minute, two minutes. I see directly what's going on in the market. And it's so nice and beauty to see.